I don't care whether you gave me money for a bus fare. I don't care whether you gave me money here and so forth. I beat you. I don't, I, I don't want to see a remake. I don't want to see a remake of this show. I don't want to see anything of a remake of this show. Learn to read subtitles, you stupid pieces of crap. Is Sangu a villain? Or is he real? Maybe it's 24, but I can't remember the last time I was as tense watching a TV show as this. I can't remember the last time when I really felt like, oh, basically I was wishing my body was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Like, I've got to give a shout out to, because I want to get the creator's name. Um, uh, Huang Dong Hyuk, who wrote and directed all episodes, which is freaking amazing because the directing was money. Like, we'll get to writing. The directing was money. So, the fact that he wrote and directed all the episodes is, is amazing. So, shout out to your boy, Huang Dong Hyuk. Um, this TV show is amazing. Now, I'll get to the ending because I thought they could have done something different with the ending, but because you know. They always hype things. Whenever people hype things like, oh, blah, blah. So when guys say, oh, Squid Game, Squid Game, I thought, okay, this is another new, cool, wavy thing. But you know what made me want to watch it? Because I just got to see it on Netflix. But when I now saw it, it was South Korean, I was like, I'm in. Because one of the, some of the best films that I've released in terms of some of the freshest storylines released have come from South Korea. Whether it's um, Old Boy, whether it's one that you may not know called the called Chaser, and um, obviously the um, Oscar-winning um, Parasite, which was fr fr freaking amazing. So I was like, okay, if this is South Korean, it must be, be good. <laughs> it must be good because South, because for me, I feel South Korea are like, the, they are now the new top storytellers. South Korea right now is what Hollywood was in the 90s, in terms of the kind of storylines and so forth that they're bring, bringing out, man. But this, I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know where to begin. It's because that's why I didn't want to do a non-spoiler thing. I can only do a spoiler thing from guys who've seen it. Because guys, because now you now know just what the bloody hell we got through. Because for me, I was like, no, no, I'm going to finish it now. Because as, as soon as an episode would finish, I was like, talk of war. Talk of war. I don't think I have clicked next episode quicker than at the end of um, the talk of war episode. Because for me, that episode for me was just... Like, there's so many... Um, the talk of all episode was money. <laughs> the best episode was... Um, is, it, is, it, is it Fair Game? Or something like that? Where, with the marbles. I have so much to say about that freaking episode. My God. Ali. You see, I don't know. I don't like how he was written and so forth. Because I thought he was written a bit weird, but... I don't care whether you gave me money for a bus fare. I don't care whether you gave me money here and so forth. I beat you. This is life or death. Who cares what happened before? What you did for me? This is life or no? Sorry, they made Ali. I'm sorry. I don't care. What they made Ali stupid. There is. If this is life or death, why would you believe that freaking dude? Why on earth would you believe that freaking dude? So basically. I don't give a shout out because obviously, obviously the main character is um, Seong Ji Ji who was really good. Obviously, number four, four, five, six. But I mean, um, you see, now I cannot talk about this stuff because the old guy. Wait, who, wait, who, wait where is he? Zero, zero, one. But I think it's Il Nam. I think his name is Il Nam. Who is. Um, yeah, yeah, Il Nam, 001. He was behind the whole thing. Did I ask him? Here was I thinking that, oh, look at this old man. He's such a lovely man. And people felt sorry for him. He was the guy behind this whole thing. You, this dude that we felt sorry for that. Oh, I told you. This is why I said don't trust old people. Don't trust freaking old people, man. He was behind this whole freaking thing. Guys, I didn't even know where to begin. There's, there's just too much stuff. But let me just, let me just try and gather my, my, my thoughts. A great idea. All those... Because I... I'm all over the place because I thought they I thought they would do a hide and seek because I, I was just thinking okay 
um, all the kinds of games that we, we played as kids. So I thought, they have to have hide and seek. So I was like, if you can't do a hide and seek, imagine how crazy that will be. But no, no, no. So obviously, as I was watching, because the, the key thing about it is that I didn't know anything about this whole thing. I didn't want to read, read anything. Then, um, what's it called? The green lights, red lights. I was like, okay, this is weird and so forth. Everything. Then when you saw what happened, when people fail, when 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 you saw some move, I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> um, but what what's a great idea? All those games we played as kids. Imagine if there was real jeopardy in those games. Because obviously, if you lose, oh, we lost. But if if you lose in that game, you get killed. Freaking crazy. But I mean, as I think, obviously, the best episode in terms of just morality and morals and what you think of was obviously the Marbles episode. But Tug of War. The thing about Tug of War was like, because in my head, I was thinking, like, wait, how the hell are they going to make these a a a, a, a team that has an old man? And two women beat a team of all guys. I was like, how the hell? But then this guy says, it's about strategy. It's about strategy. And what? And if you get, basically, if six people, man, female, older, if six people work together and combine their strength in a proper strategic way, they can beat a group of six strong people if you use the right tactics. So what they said is that, hold your, hold your weights, let them get frustrated, use your command strength, then boom, they start pulling once. So I was like, okay, that's interesting, man. But uh, no, like when that episode ended, I was like, no, 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 let's see what's going to happen next, man. But like, Sangwu. Sangwu. Sangwu might be one of the greatest villains of all time. But that's, see, that's, that, that's, that's what makes, this is why this is such an amazing TV show. Is Sangu a villain or is he real? This is life or death. This is what it is. So it's very easy for us and our characters to be like, Sangu, my, you're such a bastard. Or like, this is a competition. We're trying to win. And you know, I've got a. Do you know, if this dude, if if your boy, if your boy, if the if, critic, if, if your boy, um, um, Huang, Huang Dong Hyuk. If Huang Dong Hyuk wanted to be real, do you know what I would have thought? You know when um, Jin Hoon, what's it called? You know when the, the main character, um, no, no, Ji Hoon. When, you know when Ji Hoon was about to step into the Squid Place and basically win the whole Squid Game, I thought that he'd stop, try to say he was Sang Uma, let's just chill. Then Sang would then stab him, and then Sang would basically stand in the Squid thing. Sang would then win. Take all the money, live out, pay, pay, pay all, all of his debts. But because of all the messed up stuff that he did, he basically like commits suicide out in the real world. See, that's like my all that edgy, dark, weird, messed up ending that it would, it would, it would have been, man. Because see, I, I have two only two beefs with with, with 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 the show. I felt the character of Ali was just eh, he was a bit cheesy. I just felt they made him too stupid. They made him too stupid. Oh god, wait, easy. They made him too stupid. But um. The ending was too prolonged. The ending was a bit too too too, too prolonged. I, I felt no 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 that game with the tiles <laughs> that was crazy because my thing is like because obviously you had the guy who was the glass manufacturer who could basically tell which tile was was which tile but I was like bro like you see this is like battle royale because remember when my Japanese friend. Showed me, showed me Battle Royale. I said, oh, yo, Battle Royale. And what made Battle Royale amazing was, especially watching it in school, you're like, man, what would I do in that situation? And that's the beauty of this TV show, which is why this TV show is such a hit because every single person on the planet can connect with, with, with this. It's sort of like, through the, see, Breaking Bad, so many TV shows, you're like, okay, it's, okay, this is set in Baltimore, this is set in this kind of white area. This TV show, whether it's South Korean or whatsoever, it's humanity. It's about survival. What would you do in that situation? Who would you be? Would you be Gihun? Would you be Sangu? Would you be Ali? Like, which kind of people would you be like? So it's because I said, once human beings get in a live or die survival state, or oh, everything changes, man. But like, you know what? I think we're going to have to have a hangout and discussion about this because this show is bananas. Like, there's, 
that's just, there's just too much to unpack. There's too much to unpack. But all in all, man, what what's a great what's a great TV show? Like this already is one of the best TV shows I've ever seen because I have never f the only time I the only time I've felt as emotionally invested in a show was 2024. You see, 24, the first reasons of 24, that was different. That is, that is the only time I can feel that I was hooked and emotionally drawn to a TV show was, was 24. But this, this is, it was so good. It was so good. It was so freaking good. And that's so easy, sorry. Last thing is like, I don't, I, I don't want to see a remake. I don't want to see a remake of this show. I don't want to see anything of a remake of this show. Learn to read subtitles, you stupid pieces of crap. Read those freaking subtitles. I don't want to see, oh, let's wait for the American remake. I swear to you, I swear, I don't you dare do a freaking remake of, of this whole thing. If you want to watch it, learn how to read freaking subtitles. If you can't read subtitles, it's tough luck. Tough luck. Read the top. Because this is how it's going to be. Nah, nah. Maybe I think it's going to be like a part two of this whole review, but show, this show is money. The show is money. The show is money, man.